Hello, Bob Rowden with Scandicore, here to do a live demonstration of the Bagel Digifav B2 laminator. Now this machine is a commercial laminator in the B2 format. That means it'll run a 20.8 by 29 and a half inch sheet. It's down to an eight and a half by eight and a half sheet. Great fit for anybody who's running digital and half sheet offset, or perhaps has a, a newer engine like the 10,000, HP 10,000 running a half sheet. So as we see digital sheets grow, we're seeing people opt for this machine because it can handle that half sheet size. So Bagel Systems based in Spain, as you already know, have very robust, reliable machines designed from the ground up to be simple, easy to use, and very durable. So this machine will run about 82 feet a minute, 25 meters, which will give you just under 5,000 12 by 18s an hour run the landscape direction to give you actually 4,920 to be precise. It's unique in the fact that it has a dual feeding head system here, a very efficient feeder, which we'll get into more detail momentarily. A positive paper traction system, best in the industry for accelerating sheets after we fed them. A nip roller system that contains a oil heated roller in a high pressure nip roller on the bottom. So the oil heater in the top nip roller is really unique. It's a self-contained system, so there's no hoses going to external heaters, anything like that. It's far more efficient than traditional electric heaters that are stuck inside a steel roller. If you think about this, oil takes heat and it retains it very efficiently. And once it's up to temperature, it does not take a whole lot of energy to maintain that temperature of the oil. Competitive machines to the bagel have a s hollow steel roller with a heating element inside and they rely on air to transfer the heat from the heating element to the shell. And you can watch them, the heaters are kicking on continually trying to maintain that temperature. So this uh, system warms up in about 10 to 15 minutes, a bit longer than electric systems. However, it runs on very little energy and maintains that temperature flawlessly throughout the run. It also is very efficient in making sure that the outside of that metal roller is the same temperature as the inside because it's in constant contact always. The oil stays in the same position as the roller turns. You see on the back of the machine another feature that's uh, unique to the bagel systems in this price range is the cantilevered air shaft. Now the air shaft system relies on a bladder inside the roller to blow up and hold the film in place. Also show you that it's the cantilever design makes it very simple to load film, which I'll show you in a minute. But it just opens right up like that. You'll notice there's no metal cones or parts. I don't need an Allen key. Um, nothing that I can drop on a touch screen and crack it. We've seen that happen before. Um, nothing to drop on my floor or my toe and break. It's a really simple design. We'll change the film out in a minute. And then um, we have a bursting system in the back here that separates the sheets very efficiently. Uh, we've successfully run nylon in these machines, no problem. And then in the back here, you can't really tell what it is right now, but you'll see later on. This is a take up uh, motor for the Sleek Pro technology. So we can also do digital foil embellishments on this machine as well as single sided laminated. And then I have my exit, nothing exciting there. So what I'm gonna do is, um, get another camera here and then I'll kind of do a detailed view of the different parts of the machine so you guys can see a close-up of it. Okay, so let's start with um, the overview of the machine. We're at the back here at the pile feeder and this is a really unique feeder for a couple reasons. The first being that we actually have two feeding heads here. So on the back you can see we have a traditional press style feeding head that actually lifts and separates the pile. On the front, you'll see that we have a belt system here that picks the sheets up and transports them into the laminator. Now this belt is unique in the fact that it only sucks when it needs to and it only moves when it needs to. So there's no spinning wheel that's gonna scuff up digital stocks um, unnecessarily when the sheets aren't being fed. Provides an excellent platform for feeding difficult stocks 
as well as refeeding single-sided laminated sheets when we're doing a flip and turn to do duplex. Another really unique feature of this feeder is uh, these rollers. It doesn't look really exciting from here, but you can see that there's these yellow belts and these blue wheels here. When those gates drop, they are mechanically 100% connected to these blue wheels, which I can adjust the position and the pressure of. So as soon as that gate drops, let the sheet go into the machine. These blue wheels are 100% engaged and they accelerate the sheet very efficiently and quickly. So I don't deal with things like gaps between, between sheets. Let's get a close up quick of that chrome roller that I was talking about before. You can see the size of it. On the uh, front of the machine here, these are uh, two pressure gauges for the nip roller and we can balance them left and right to uh, make sure that we have equal pressure across, across the nip. Have our heat controller there. You can see I have it set at 101 degrees Celsius and it's uh, holding perfectly at uh, 101.1. And then the heart of the machine is the operator control panel. You can see here everything is icon based, very simple. Um, this is a global machine. Anybody in any language can run this machine. It's completely icon and number based. You also notice that I don't have to, uh, when I run this machine, I'm just going to press this auto button right here. There's nothing else I need to do. I don't need to engage pull rollers, time the burst manually, um, be throwing levers and catching paper, that kind of thing. It's going to be a press the auto button once it's set up and all these functions are going to, are going to automatically run on the machine. One more detailed view of the air shaft that we talked about before. And you'll see more of this as I uh, run the machine. So I'm going to put this camera down now and uh, get this set up and, and run some laminating. What I have here today is I have a soft pro. It's an ultra grip film. And we're running actually the dividers for the Scandicore catalog. So you can see they're all different colors in here. Uh, well, if I could do that. So you're running those. Those are printed on a Xerox version 180 with a dry toner. So I'm running the Ultra Grip adhesive, and which works amazing with the uh, any of the hard to stick to prints. So once again, I put these camera down and run the machine. So as I was saying before, to start the machine, I have my paper format, which is 482 millimeters. I have that set in the to the machine. I have an overlap of three millimeters between sheets. And now to start running, I'm simply going to press the auto button. Hold on to my film shaft here. You can hear the feeder's going to start up the vacuum pump. It's going to get a little noisy here. Control panel pivots. Simply going to press the scissor button here to start the bursting of the sheets. So two things I did there is I uh, turned the fan on to help deliver the sheets and I turned the bursting on. So while I did say it was automatic, those two things I do need to do after I start the machine. But they're touching a touch screen just like your smartphone. So that's nice, but uh, Let's get it running a little bit faster. So simply just press the plus button on the screen here. And you hear the machine accelerate. So I got a lot of background noise right now with the compressor just kicked on in the back room. 
should shut that off momentarily. Let's see if we can get the top camera here to do a delivery view. Okay, looks good. You can see the sheets coming out here, perfectly separated. So I just increased it from about five and a half meters per minute. Uh, looks like we're running about seven at this point. Roughly 21 feet per minute. And I'm gonna push it up a bit more. So one thing you'll notice with the bagel machines is that I'm actually only at about 100 degrees Celsius. Because they have such phenomenal pressure and such an efficient heating system, we can actually run films at a lower temperature than traditional laminators. Looks like we're down to some white stock here, but I'm gonna go ahead and continue to push the machine speed up. So that was uh, 12 meters per minute. Let's switch the overview back to the feeder. It's hard to see on plain white sheets, but the feeder's feeding these flawlessly. So that's running about 15 meters per minute at this point. Or about 45 feet, just over. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the air off. So what I did just then is I turned the suction off on the feeder, which caused it to misfeed. And because the machine is so automated, it just simply saw that there wasn't a sheet there, and it, boom, it shot, stopped the machine that fast without there being any wraparound, any adhesive getting on any rollers, anything like that. So one thing I forgot to mention when I was talking about the feeder is that this feeder is so accurate that we are able to butt feed the sheets together. So right now I'm overlapping by three millimeters, and it's very precise. It'll do plus or minus about a half a millimeter on that. But when we run into some really thick stocks, let's say maybe 450 GSM, it's very difficult if you take 450 GSM paper to overlap those sheets and get it through the nip rollers because it's doubling the thickness when those two pieces of paper try and feed through. So this machine also has a special function that we can turn the sensitivity of the photocell down and actually dial in the exact length of the sheets with thick paper and butt the sheets up to each other and run them through perfectly flat with no overlap. It's really unique because a lot of machines, um, for instance, they have a flying knife, they rely on the overlap to separate the sheets, but because this is a bursting system, we don't need that. So we can butt the sheets together, effectively feed them, laminate them, and separate them at 450, and even we've tested up to 600 GSM. So that is out of spec, of course, but um, just phenomenal what this machine can do. So what I'd like to do now is um, I'm gonna pull the film off. You'll see how this uh, cantilevered air shaft works as I release it. And then I'm gonna load this up with the Sleek Pro option. So I'm gonna be on and off camera for a minute here while I do the changeover, but it's very fast. So I'm gonna start out by uh, just turning my machine basically all the functions completely off. Pull this back a bit here. I'm going to bring my uh, foil take up here. This is another mandrel that mounts right on the back.
Now let's grab the, <clears throat> excuse me, let's grab the close-up camera again if we can. Let's get it under control first. Okay, so I'm going to show you what we do here to release this mandrel. Simply under that latch, we can swing it right out. This is really helpful for loading large diameter rolls of film. And then to re release it, you'll see on the end there's a little air valve. I simply just poke this to release it. And this bladder has now deflated so that I can slide this roll of film right off the machine. Very simple. Now what I'm going to do is uh, slide this roll of foil on. And you can see that I can use these measurements right here to balance it side to side. So I think I need to be about 155-ish. Like that. Okay, I'm going to lock this in. Then on the back of the machine there's this air gun. So I'll take that, put it right in there, pull the trigger, and this roll of film is now locked onto the machine. It will not slide. Now in case I forgot to mention it earlier, this here is the tension control knob. So I'm going to go ahead and thread this foil up, uh, put the camera back down, and uh, you'll see me, I'm going to thread it through the machine. And then I'm going to tape it on to this take-up roller here. Um, in between there, there's a small uh, plexiglass plate that I'm going to drop in on the decurling bar here. That uh, decurls laminations. We're going to that's down out of the way now. Um, I'm going to drop a plate on there, put the foil onto here, and then we'll talk about changing paper size as I hit my uh, paper for the sleeking is a bit shorter. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to unload the feeder here. Simply back this up, go to the next screen, and put it down. So this was 13, 19, the next sheets that I'm gonna run are actually 13 by 18. So, gotta get this paper out of here so we can reset the feeder. I'm actually going to grab the detail camera again so you can watch what I'm doing here. Okay, so I have my paper stock loaded up and the feeder is not set. I'm simply going to start bringing it up on the screen here until it gets close. I can now slide my feeding head in until I just touch the backs, backs of the sheet and then come back to the screen and I press auto. It's going to bring that, those sheets right up to the correct position. Back to my main screen and this is the screen where I'll press auto to start the machine again. So we're going to drop the detail camera and we'll be back to uh, getting that foil loaded up. So to load the foil, I'm just going to tape a sheet of paper onto the foil to help thread it through. This machine has a special function where I can put the sheet into the nip roller and I can press one button when this cover is open and it's going to feed the paper just through the nip rollers for me, which is very helpful for trying to load it. So one, one touch, the rollers drop, cycles it for one turn, 
close the cover, the paper is now through the nip rollers. Again, going back to Bagel's commitment to being very user friendly. sheet out the back of the machine now. Make sure it's nice and smooth. I tightened the tension there to hold the foil from unraveling while I loaded it. So I just tightened that back, loosened that back up a little bit. So now I have uh, my paper loaded up, my foil shredded. The one thing I need to change is the paper length. So I'm going to go ahead in here and punch in 430 millimeters. So let's go ahead and start the feeder. And I'm going to turn the hot stamp take up on. Okay, let's switch back to the overview camera for a moment so you can see how this looks. I have sheets here with black toner going into the machine. The foil's being applied. You can see here where it's been taken off. And that is the same sheet that went in black with completely the silver coverage wherever the toner was. Let's stop the machine for a moment. Just wanted to get one of those sheets out that went in black so we can compare the two. So to my camera above, and then to the main camera here. So you can see this is just 100% K black toner and applied silver foil with the Bagel Systems Digifab to create variable data foil stamping. Okay, and that's it. That wraps up our Digifav demo for right now. Thank you very much for watching.